So what I want to talk about now is compassion fatigue. What is that? That's people looking after other people and they're wearing down from it. I read a really interesting thing about Alzheimer's disease. It's infectious. How can that be? The people looking after people with Alzheimer's, so much of their life is devoted to them, they don't devote to themselves. And that same stress and other factors makes that caregiver more likely to get Alzheimer's disease. People don't think about that. There's so much giving going on that people lose self. It's like a mom. I'll look after my family. I'll look after my husband. I got a job. I rush home and do that. And there's no time left for me. And that's what gets lost. People, a lot of people are so selfless. They give so much, but there's nothing left for them. And we've got to nourish those people. That's a hard job. We see it. I see it in colleagues. I see doctors burned out after five years. I see it in the nurses. And I was fortunate during my career. I had almost no stillbirths. But I was on labor and delivery when there were stillbirths. And the woman, the nurse looking after that woman cries her eyes out. There's two other nurses on that shift that aren't looking after that woman. One of them's knitting a little hat for the stillborn baby so they can take a picture so the mom has something. And all the other nurses are crying. And they cry all day long. They've delivered thousands of babies. And yet the one that they can't do something for is the one that hits them just like a baseball bat. And those, I've, I've worked with so many nurses, I have so much respect for the stuff they do and how hard it is. And in many ways, doctors breeze in and out, and they're there for the whole labor with those people. And it's so much giving, and it's so hard on them. And we've got to nourish all of those people. We've got to identify how it's affecting them and what can we do to make them healthier. And a lot of the things that we do in our clinics, getting on the supplements to nourish your brain and make your physiology good help, but we need compassionate people looking after them. My good friend Grant Fairley has written a book about this, which is really interesting to read and see how that we can help this large group of people helping others because it's time that we help look after these other people as well. It's so important.